Gym employees, what's your best droid rage slash gym freakout story? There was this guy at the Imca I lifted it in high school who was crazy as all hell. The first time I saw him, he strolled through the door, held his arms out wide, and announced that Terminator is here. This one time, he was using one bench and I walked up to the one next to him, but there were plates on it. I turned and asked, is someone using this? I don't know, man, he said, but fuck them. They left, it's your bench. So I did my bench presses. I saw a guy get mad at his spotter for jumping in to help him, when he was doing bench press to failure. He was screaming, you ruined my whole set. You ruined my whole set. The guy then walked over to the wall, put both hands on the wall and just shrieked, like he is a jijijahib. Then stormed to the locker room. Everyone literally stopped what they were doing to watch this unfold. I did work in a gym, but this is actually a story from when I was a member of a different gym. There was this dude that my friends and I called the hero. He wore an American flag tank top, American flag shorts, white converse, and an American flag bandana. Dude was the most patriotic person I've ever seen. The dude was pretty average in terms of strength. Would usually do like 135 on bench in a 5x5 set. However, he touted himself as this incredible power lifter and was always hitting on girls in the gym talking about his latest competition. Every rep, no matter the exercise no matter the weight, he'd shout toot at the top of every rep. It was hilarious. You couldn't not laugh because it was so loud. The best part was he was actually like a super cool dude. Always there for a spot and would give high fives to people once they finished their sets. He also never took off his weightlifting belt or his straps. Miss that guy sometimes. This guy was in the locker room and went to get a drink from the drinking fountain. He didn't notice that someone, my buddy, didn't turn the fountain's nozzle back after filling his water bottle and this guy got his shoes wet because of it. So he starts on a tangent. Oh this is f asterisk asterisk k-i-n-g great. I was late for work. Car had a flat tire. Forgot my energy drink. Had to skip lunch. I ain't had a carb all day. He is now known as carb guy. I worked at a gym as the manager of the child center. It wasn't a roid rage, but I had to suspend a very pregnant woman's child for biting other children to the point that they bled. She was pissed and screamed at me saying there was no proof, except she didn't realize we kept records of previous incidents that she signed, and then complained to my boss telling her that I called her son a menace, except who says that anymore? The entire time she was complaining her child was hitting her and also screaming. Yeah she cancelled her membership and no one was sad. About a year ago we had two guys that were bodybuilders, that were always here training for an event that definitely seemed enhanced. About two weeks before the competition the one guy was maximuming out on biceps and tore the distal biceps tendon and it was very obvious. He was so pissed he got up and slammed the other weight to the floor and the other guy had to hold him back as he destroyed a water station slash jug and started punching a wall and otherwise just going on a fucking rampage. The other guy eventually like rode him outside and calmed him down after 15 to 20 minutes. Don't know if this counts but a big big dude, 259, 300 pounds, was going for a massive bench press. Didn't count how many plates, just know it was over 6 on each side. He was yelling all the way up to his maximum. Everyone is obviously looking at this point. Then he goes for the final one and just shits himself all over the bench. Doesn't finish the rep needs to spot us. Gets up and is so angry that he didn't finish and that people were watching that he just yells what? What? With shit running down his legs and just starting screaming as he goes back to the locker room. All the while walking through the whole gym. Damn dude it was smelly. We had this one guy who was pretty legit crazy. All the employees got a pretty weird vibe from him when he signed up. AMD he had been kicked out from three other gyms in our town. Anyway, he never quite freaked out, but he did a lot of weird stuff. He screamed at people for talking for too long between their sets because it disturbed his zen. He complained to us in the staff that all women there distracted him from proper lifting because they wore to tight clothes and tried to get us to change that. He once screamed at me while I was working out because I didn't rack my weights when I went to refill my water bottle yet never once racked a single weight. Just by walking into the gym you could tell that he had been there earlier. 
he got upset with one of our senior members who is a champion in senior natural bodybuilding at 78 years because he wasn't as big as he was, being 27 and on roids. Stood around naked in the changing room naked while posing in front of the mirror mumbling encouraging things to himself. After a while we had to suspend his membership because he harassed all the members so much that our regulars wanted to switch gyms. Kind of a dick. Great toning and symmetrical muscles though. Oh this story is perfect. So this occurred at the Dartmouth gym back around 2013. I'm really hoping someone in this thread was also there. For context, there was this jerk of a gym manager who would always come over and yell at you for slamming weights, even if you weren't actually slamming them. I know slamming weights is really annoying, so I'm not defending it, but you have to believe me that this guy had a hair trigger and loved to yell even when there really wasn't any weight dropping going on. Now, this is where the stars aligned. There was this raw did up undergrad who I had seen before and knew he loved to drop weights. He was about 5 feet 8 inches, but all unnatural muscle. I knew the angry manager was at the front desk, so I thought oh this might get good. Sure enough, the roider starts doing cleans and dropping the weights about as loud as you can, and immediately the manager storms over, redder than a tomato, and looking like he was about to burst. What followed was just unintelligible screaming from both of them, only about one inch from each other. Sort of like this but angrier. It was so much fun to watch. The whole gym stopped to watch. The best part though, and the whole reason I'm telling this story, was once the manager was going off to call security, I'm actually surprised they didn't fight, since there was some shoving, which would have been funny, since the manager looked about 30 years older than the roider, the roider screamed this line. Yeah yeah I get how it is, the strongest guy at the gym is getting kicked out for being too fucking strong. Fuck you I'm leaving. He was completely serious in saying that too and stormed off. Ah oh man I loved it. This one guy at my gym looked like Michael Douglas in falling down. Had an awesome 1000 yard stare and always looked like he was insanely angry. Carried around an old alarm clock to time his lifts. Like an old analog clock with the bells on top. One day gets angry at something. Full on jumps in the air and roundhouse kicks the paper towel dispenser off the wall in the middle of a crowded gym. He was subsequently asked to leave. While on the way out he took out his further anger on another paper towel dispenser by straight up Patrick Sway's throat ripping it off the wall, roadhouse style. Not necessarily my best one but pretty good. I was overseeing one of my facilities when this happened. There's a class going on and this older gentleman starts walking through the middle of the classroom. The instructor politely tells the gentleman that there's a class going on, duh, but if he needs something from the room she'll be glad to get it for him. He flips a shit and starts calling her every name in the book. Magically, the general manager disappears around the same time, so I get involved. I walk over, calmly tell the gentleman that there's no need for such language. At that point he starts calling me every name in the book. I tell him his membership is now cancelled, leave or I'm calling the police. He then throws a hissy fit, starts jumping on the rowing machines like a child, and knocking over the weight trees. Then he proceeds to pick up some of the barbie bells and throw one at the instructor, and then tried to swing one at me. The guy must have been close to 80, so it wasn't hard to dodge. At this point a buddy of his comes over, grabs him and takes him to the locker room. So we don't call the cops, and then he leaves. Not an employee, but one time I was doing cardio, and in the cardio room there's a small weightlifting area with a power rack and some dumbbells. There is also a large strength gym in my gym. My university has a huge gym, with plenty of power racks and benches and weights, so I don't really understand why they put a power rack in the cardio room. So this guy comes in, he looks pretty stocky and very serious. He gets on the Olympic lifting slash deadlift platform attached to the power rack and starts doing his one rep maximum, 225 pounds, for at least 30 minutes with short rests, all the while grunting and yelling and making a huge scene, as if he's fucking on old himself. During his rests, he flexes in the mirror and does bodybuilding poses. Keep in mind, this is the cardio room and he's grunting and that's literally the only sound other than the pop music playing on the speakers. Even if he went to the strength gym he would looked like a fool though. At 24 hour fitness in the middle of the night, every night there was an older gentleman who we used to call, Captain B. 
He was this badass who had done everything in his past life and was suffering through an autoimmune disease that was destroying the cartilage especially in the spinal column and apparently the way to slow down the process of deterioration was to exercise. This dude just loved to go around and fuck with all the college students who would stare at themselves in the mirror and just do bicep curls all day. One day he should talk the biggest dude in the entire gym I'd ever seen, 6 feet 7 inches and beyond jacked, about how little he can lift. Steroid dude lost his shit, so Captain B challenged him to a dip competition for $100. I watched both of them do 80 straight dips until the roids guy started to falter, then he fell to the ground. Captain B stared him down, and did 10 more dips, got off and got his money. The guy looked destroyed, like his purpose in life was meaningless. He lost his shit, and ran out of the gym. I want to say he cried, but I'll sadly never know. I worked front desk at a gym, and I always had a volunteer with me. My volunteer was a lovely 67 year old man. It was time to close the gym and the volunteer would go around telling the members that we were closing in 15 minutes and to leave the floor now if they were taking a shower at the gym so they would be out by closing. One guy on the machines refused to leave the floor even at the time of closing so my volunteer told him he had to go now. Roy did guy took issue with being told it was time to leave and started yelling at my senior volunteer. I heard the commotion and looked up to see the rided guy following my volunteer. They were both screaming at each other. The rided guy asked him if he wanted to take this outside. My volunteer yelled back that he would love to take this outside. Thankfully the gym manager stepped in and split them up before anything happened and the right guy left. You can bet that young rided out guy would have been regretting the decision to take it outside if they actually went out there due to the fact that the unassuming little old guy was a former marine who fought in Nam. Love that volunteer, one of the best friends I could ever ask for. When I was about 16, 25 years ago, I was replacing a bar in the rack and there were two guys having a chat there. After replacing the weight I turned and smiled and did what I thought was a friendly, joking fist pump. Well one of the juice monkeys took it the wrong way and grabbed me by the throat, lifted me up and slammed me into the wall and demanded to know what the hell my problem was. That was uncool. I had a buddy ask if he could start lifting with me. A few days in, I'm spotting him and giving him the typical male encouragement you got this bitch. Don't be a pussy, you got it. He slammed down the weights and cried when someone has low self-esteem that doesn't help. He saw me and my other buddies spotting each other saying the same shit to each other. I have no idea why he took it so seriously. Not a gym employee, but my husband is huge into bodybuilding and I enjoy fitness myself. He made a new friend at the gym we switched to. This guy was really unstable, would always talk shit to employees and almost always wanted to fight someone. A week after not seeing this guy we heard he got kicked out for picking up a flat bench, throwing it across the room, and trying to fight some guy that accidentally almost tripped him. One other time he was supposed to work out with my husband and completely freaked the fuck out because my husband wouldn't change our schedule around because he wanted to meet earlier than planned. Edit, this guy was at least 6 feet tall and really muscular, one of his thighs was the size of my torso. Not an employee. I was doing cardio on a stationary bike at night when this shit happens. This guy is using presumably the preacher curl machine upstairs and is yelling and screaming like he got his arm cut off during childbirth for every lift. No one could see him from downstairs, somehow there was no one else upstairs, but everyone was aware of him. People started yelling and berating the guy to calm the fuck down then an employee went up to set things straight. He gets upstairs. The clanging of weights and yelling stops, and the employee comes down the stairs looking confused. From some eavesdropping, the employee said there was no one upstairs when he went up. No one came down the stairs before he went up either. Gaines ghost lifting from the crypt has become a legend now. I don't work at a gym, but this just might be the only platform I'll ever have to tell this story. I worked in a record store and a woman came in asking me if we had the Rocky soundtrack on CD. I went to the soundtrack section and found one used copy for $4.99. She grabbed it from my hands and got a look. In her eyes as she said, thank god you have this. My husband uses Eye of the Tiger as his pump up song 
when he lifts weights, but I got really mad at him yesterday for being a dumbass, and I ripped his entire CD player system away from the wall, and threw it out into the backyard. I didn't know that his Rocky CD was in there, and now it won't turn on to eject the CD. I'm so thankful you have this. That lady was kind of really awesome. Not roid rage, but I think this applies. There was a guy who openly admitted to taking roid, and he also sold them. He was in his 30s, not huge but pretty big, and owned his own landscaping business. He always talked to everyone in the gym so just about everyone knew him. One day while working out his face appeared on the local news channel the gym played, and he was arrested for selling steroids. He went to jail and came back a few months later like nothing happened. Late to the game but, a guy I knew from high school, pretty eccentric dude, showed up to the gym one day using a guest pass. He was wearing high cut jean shorts, a headband, and had a giant pair of work boots. He proceeded to get on the treadmill, crank it up to 10 miles per hour, and start to sprint, while yelling and clapping his hands. Now mind you, the work boots were heavy duty, and in conjunction with the 10 miles per hour setting it was making the most horrifically loud banging noise you could possibly imagine. Naturally everyone in the entire place stopped to see WTF was happening. This went on for about 30 seconds, until he could no longer maintain the 10 miles per hour setting, and he proceeded to get thrown off the treadmill, somersaulted backwards about 15 feet until he cannonballed into the sheet rock, where he broke through the wall. It was the most surreal goddamn thing I have ever seen. He got up off the ground, pumped his fist in the air, had the courtesy and wherewithal to turn off the treadmill, and then high-fived someone and walked out. I have not seen Jard since. That was 10 years.